Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to explore this device. This one is Nokia Lumia 930, released back in 2014. So if you watch my videos, you might have seen this device because I showed this device a few days ago when I was unlocking bootloader. So I got this device for $10 and I have been using since then actually this device and I'm doing stuff like installing application and updating the device to Windows 10. So this is an amazing device actually. It was a flagship device of 2014. It got all the flagship level specs. So first of all, as you can see here, so the display here is actually 5 inch AMOLED panel and the display does look good and it still looks very sharp and pretty much usable display. And in front, we also got a 1.2 megapixel selfie camera, which is not really amazing, but it was for media call only. So there was not really a selfie trend back then. And also and on the bottom, we got micro USB and on top, we got a 3.5 mm headphone jack and sim tray and the sim tray is pretty amazing actually there is a tiny latch and you can take it out pretty easily right hand side we have volume rock cards power button and two stage shutter button and as you can see here the buttons are missing because the buttons actually holding by some of the rubber materials which already like disintegrated and gone so the buttons fall down but still the buttons works actually and the most amazing thing of this device actually is the camera here so the camera here is actually 20 megapixel with ois support and it was pretty amazing back then flash is also pretty amazing another thing i have to talk about this device actually is the build quality the build quality of this device is pretty amazing and also it got wireless charging and four microphones so you can record pretty crystal clear voice so going with the device now this device is running on windows 10 actually the latest version possible for this device i have updated the device and it's working flawlessly because it got about 2 gig of ram and the processor here is actually snapdragon 800 it can run windows 10 without any kind of issue so going to the system section and about phone so the latest build for this device is 1607 it cannot go beyond that but you can tweak the device to update it to the latest version which actually a buy valve only for lumia 950 xl you can get that update to this device but i did not do that because i have another plan for this device so currently it is running on as you can see 1607 in 1607 you can still access microsoft store as you can see here uh, microsoft store does work without any kind of issue but as you know windows phone is long dead so there is nothing much available in windows store but if you update your device to Windows 10, you have access to site load method. So you can set load application without any kind of issue, like without unlocking the bootloader. But in my case, I have already unlocked the bootloader and I have done few modification on this device already. So as you can see here, the store is working actually. And there are few applications available for Windows 10 device. Most of them actually not usable. So as you can see here few applications but unusable as you can see here i have a lot of application here i did show how you can like install application on this kind of windows devices and one downside of having windows 10 on this device actually is that you are not getting lumia camera so you are missing a lot of things actually so basically if you update your device to windows 10 you have to use the camera application here the camera application does work actually and it does come with few more features like hdr and other things but it's not really that much fun like lumia camera application but still as this device got 20 megapixel camera uh, there is a feature like you can take up to 5 megapixel or 19 megapixel picture and also you can take in raw format too as you can see here dng 19 megapixel raw format and the camera still shines actually i did take few pictures with this device and that turns out pretty good actually so i will put some pictures there and you are getting all the goodies of windows camera here like manual mode and everything so those things works flawlessly and if you go to video mode also you can like shoot in manual mode manual focus and manual few other things
everything's kind of working still fine and as this device support 4g lte so network is also there so you can make phone calls and messaging still so there are downside of this device right now is application and browsing so in terms of browsing it is not going to do well actually so let me let me search facebook here so it will load like old version of facebook so you can see here the older version of facebook is working and if i go to youtube although it can run youtube actually still but it's not really that smooth i think symbian device do much better than this device as you know in symbian device you can install jtube and jtube works really good so but here actually it's not really that good so let me try ncs music it's pretty fast actually but as the browser is outdated so it takes time now if i play lost in sky So as you can see it's even struggling to load the ads even though it got a really good internet connection but it is having pretty much so it is having issue so as you can see here it's pretty much unusable in terms of browsing but if you listen music it got 32 gig of internal storage and also you can like if you go to settings and extra setting and equalizer so you can like enable dolby atmos and dolby dialog enhancer so these things are a bible for this device so if you listen music you can still listen music on this device the experience will be pretty good and rather than that there is nothing much you can do you can just play games like older stuff if you know how to side load application in that case you can play old games like temple run temple run 2 and other things and Rather than that, nothing much you can do with this device. Maybe I'm going to make one more video about this device. I'm going to try Windows 10 ARM on this device. As you know, this device got 2 gig of RAM. So this device can run ARM version of Windows 10. I'm going to flash that one. I'm going to try out how it works on this device and how much application we can run on that device. If it can run like WhatsApp and other things. I think if I can run those things, ARM will be good but if you like smoother experience i think you should stick with windows 8.1 if you have one of these devices unlock the bootload and unsight load application because if you update this device to windows 10 mobile the camera experience will not be that great although the device is running perfectly fine no issue with that but in terms of camera quality which is the strongest point of this device it's not going to be that great but anyway I don't really think anyone going to use this kind of devices right now but if you have one of these device try out and also you can do emulation on this device right now and the battery backup is pretty good because Windows phone doesn't consume that much battery so battery backup will be good as I said it is running pretty smoothly no issue with that and you are getting all the goodies of Windows 10 good keyboard good camera and pretty good display so that's all about Lumia 9 30. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.